neutropenia during and after cancer treatment. What is neutropenia? White blood cells can help protect your body from infections caused by bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites. Neutrophils are a type of white blood cells that are especially important because they are the first cells to respond to infection. When your neutrophil level is unusually low, it is called neutropenia. When you have neutropenia, your body is more likely to get an infection. In this video, you will learn common causes of neutropenia, how to know if you have neutropenia, what you can do to help prevent infection, when to contact your care team, and what to do if you have to go to the emergency room. Common causes of neutropenia. Common causes of neutropenia include cancer treatments, cancers of the blood and bone marrow, and non-cancer diseases. How to know if you have neutropenia. A blood test determines if you have neutropenia. The test measures how many neutrophils are in your blood. This is called your absolute neutrophil count, or ANC. If your absolute neutrophil count is below a certain number, you have neutropenia. If you have severe neutropenia, even a minor infection can become serious quickly. Neutropenia often occurs several days after you receive chemotherapy, depending on your cancer treatment. Your provider or nurse will let you know when your white blood cell count is likely to be at its lowest. During this time, you should carefully watch for signs and symptoms of infection explained later in this video. What you can do to help prevent infection. Number one, practice good personal care. To practice good personal care, clean your hands frequently using soap and water or hand gel. Avoid crowded places and contact with people who are sick. Wear a mask in public spaces. Brush your teeth after each meal and at bedtime with a soft bristle toothbrush. Avoid using mouthwashes that contain alcohol or peroxide which may dry and irritate your gums and the tissue in your mouth. Do not share food, drink cups, utensils, or other personal items such as toothbrushes. Keep your skin clean and try to avoid cuts and scratches. Avoid tobacco. Talk to your care team before using cannabis, which is also called marijuana. Get vaccines recommended by your care team. Practice safe sexual activity. Ask your care team for a sexual health handout for more information. Number two, follow food safety best practices to prevent illness from food. To follow food safety best practices, carefully wash raw fruits and vegetables, avoid salad bars, buffets, deli counters, and bulk foods. Cook meat and eggs all the way through to kill any germs. Refrigerate leftovers within two hours. Watch our food safety video on our patient education YouTube site for more information. Number three, prevent infections at home. To prevent infections at home, try and keep all your household services clean. It's best to use bleach-based cleaning solutions. Avoid housework that may disturb dust or mold. Try to have this done when you're not home. Avoid direct contact with a child or pet's urine, feces, or vomit. If you can't, wear cleaning gloves and be sure to wash your hands right away when you're done. Avoid gardening and don't keep fresh flowers or plants in your home. They can carry bacteria and fungus that can cause infection. Keep fans and air conditioners clean and change air conditioning filters regularly. Avoid humidifiers because bacteria can grow in the water that's in them. Avoid swimming in recreational water such as public pools, hot tubs, lakes, ponds, and the ocean. When to contact your care team. Contact your care team if you experience 
a temperature taken by mouth between 100.4 to 100.8 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 to 38.2 degrees Celsius for one hour or more, or a temperature that is 100.9 degrees Fahrenheit or 38.3 degrees Celsius or above. A temperature taken under the arm between 99.5 to 99.9 .9 degrees Fahrenheit or 37.5 to 37.7 degrees Celsius for one hour or more, or a temperature that is 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 37.8 degrees Celsius or above. Chills or shaking chills. Sore throat or new cold symptoms. Change in cough or new cough, shortness of breath, stiff neck, diarrhea, vomiting, new onset of pain, painful or frequent urination, unusual vaginal discharge or irritation, rash or other skin changes, changes in mental status, a general feeling of tiredness, unusual fatigue or flu-like symptoms. Redness, soreness, or swelling in any area, including the mouth, surgical wounds, central lines, and ports. What to do if you have to go to the emergency room? Tell emergency room staff right away that you are receiving chemotherapy or cancer treatment. Fevers and infections can become serious very quickly. You should be evaluated as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned more about neutropenia and what you can do if it happens to you during or after treatment. Contact your care team if you have any questions or concerns.